Hey, everybody. I think we got a new theme song for sure now. <laughs> this is, I forget what it's called. What does it do? e Echoes of the Void, I think. No, or something it's... to that effect. This is a UDO created thing. I gotta, I gotta mention UDO every once in a while. Last week I let it play at the end of the show, so if you want to hear it, listen to last week's show. Yeah, listen to last week's show. Look at Corey scratch his butt. <laughs> I, <laughs> said, best. I didn't even, I didn't even oh know it's that. You gotta watch it. Got some flannel on you, Dad. Nice. It's, it's hilarious. Yeah, it was the week of Corey last week. Yeah, it sure was. Well, yeah. I mean, I, I've seen him more last week than I had probably this year. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> For sure, me too. That was an awesome weekend. Yeah, it's uh, it, well. It started with Corey on the show. Yeah, hope y'all enjoyed Corey Bauman, checkpoint manager, manager. of bonus, the River West Twenty Four. Checkpoint manager. And uh, then we saw him Friday at a park show. That was robots. Which they sounded good outside. I was very happy with the uh, the generator and the everything. Yep, it was yep, a fully self-contained show, so that was awesome. Yeah, it was a gorilla knife fight and. Can't remember the other name of the band. Well, one of them was a guy. Yeah, just one dude. And I think he's writing stuff and he's putting it on a machine that he can sing to, but he's looking for a band to gotcha. make the yeah, real yeah, noises yeah. happen at some point. Then the other band was the two piece that one would write four songs, one on guitar, one on drums, and then they'd switch. And then the other guy. Were they the band that existed 36 hours earlier? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We've been a band for years. <laughs> yeah, I love that. That yeah, it was good stuff. That was that was uh, the beginning of the weekend. Oh, yeah. Saturday was Fat Tire Tour. Then uh, immediately, fine. and Schlebowski was in town, and he wanted to get down there early because Phil Pee Wee uh, was showing up and may have needed some assistance. Although yep, yep. Georgia, as always, was helping him, but. 40 years, 40 year anniversary of the Fat Tire Tour of Milwaukee. I looked at some of the pictures, and I got to tell you, that one dude who looked like Pee Wee Herman really looked like Pee Wee Herman. The guy with the bald head and the, the painted. Shellac yeah, he just had a painted head. It yeah. Was awesome. There were quite, there were a few Pee Wees. It was, uh, it was a, the, like a perfect day. Yeah. 72 degrees or something. Like it couldn't have gotten Light more breeze. perfect. Light yeah. breeze, 400 plus people. I found my uh, t-shirt doppelganger that I've been rocking for, whatever, 15 years. I'm a Lord and Daddy a Rebel. Uh, the exact yeah. same one, exact same font, the picture, everything, except it was black with white lettering. Versus the white with black lettering. Off-white with black lettering. Yes. <laughs> now, yes, and frayed, threadbare, everything. I, if we could so I did get information, and I have the order in. It's available in still. Right on. Well, barely, but. Awesome. I'm grabbing it now so I can have this more longer in perpetuity. Right. Yeah, so <laughs> we we did do some of the official ride, and then mm -hmm. we did some of the unofficial side stops, and one of them was Holler House, which I just love. Holler yeah, House. Holler House. Um, times always. We uh, were looking at doing a Steel is Real ride again this fall. I think the penalty box is cleared of all <laughs> ne'er do well <laughs> all the people that were making it not fun to do hopefully and uh holler house would definitely be on the stop yeah Absolutely. unfortunately marcy the patri matriarch matriarch yes. passed. Yes. Yeah. yeah a year and a half or something it's been a while but kathy her daughter is still there and tom her husband who does an awesome tour of Forest Home Cemetery. Nice. Mm. If, if you're in Milwaukee and you want to check out where all the old beer barons and the department store uh, moguls and uh, mm -hmm. whatever else, lager barons and whatnot, yeah. this That's guy smart. knows the history of that Forest Home Cemetery. Yeah, I think they do a picnic thing, too. As well. Could. Like, yeah, there's the yeah. Pabst. It's <laughs> like a picnic why, tour. Why in a, in a there's Pabst it's and like, Schlitz and Blatz and all the, all I mean, the old names. beer pit stops there. There's, oh, yeah. So... There was a movement a couple of years ago to show movie inflatable theater in one of the cemeteries. I'm like, why not? Yeah, was it hanging that? with your former a live family? You're watching movies. That's yeah, cool. well, they encourage people to come through and see the history through the people that are in the cemetery. So right. it's definitely something. There's even a tour, an auto tour, if you just want to drive through the. Oh, thing. cool. And get lost. And yeah, it's a very confusing. <laughs> Talk to me about that is, in, well, in that damn cemetery in Fogler. 
Yeah, I'm talking about Saturday night. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, after the uh, Fat Tire Tour, we came back here, so we didn't ride, but Tony rode from the River West out to the Turf Benefit, which was fantastic. Oh, wow. um, it was really fantastic. Was. But you got lost, I heard. I didn't bother to pull up my phone and start directions. I'm like, I'll get home. I know what I'm doing. I'm just going to go north that I'm, way. I'm like driving. We riding, ended up going east, though. I'm riding, riding, well, riding. Next thing I know, I'm outside hurt. of the Holt Home Depot. I'm like, oh, wait. I did not go the right uh, way at all. You're, you're kind of doing the L instead of the I angle. Added, I added four extra miles. No big deal. Yeah, you didn't go down Forest Home, was your mistake. Yeah, that was my birthday. Pretty much. So, but well, you made it home. Cares. Got to see freaking Scam Likely, The Crosses, freaking Agent Orange killed it. Did they, I, I could not we, believe how many people were at Agent Orange. I turned around, I'm like, where did all you guys come from? Well, The Crosses did the whole first The Kreutzit album. Mm -hmm. So that was awesome in and of itself. And we were both pretty tired, so we bailed on waiting the 45 minutes until Agent Orange started. So. Stole. Right? Well, oh. it, it, Dave, I would have let Dave go, and I would have had to fend for myself, but I wasn't going to walk 12 miles to home. So right. oh. I w I'm sure I could have figured something out. But I, I was just and cashed just from the day. To add to all that, I watched Agent Orange with Corey Bauman and his wife. Oh, yeah. yeah. They <laughs> showed up, too. Mine. Yeah, they were yeah, standing. He had, he had drinks. They, they were, back they back were back. standing there when we were watching the process. Yeah, that was awesome. I, th I don't know how they did. I would like to see what the benefit numbers are, but there was a lot of people. Well, there was a comment already by them saying, thanks, everyone. We should probably do this again next year. I'm like, yes. Uh -huh. Yes, please bring more punk bands at a great skate. You know, some of those skaters were freaking phenomenal. And, um, they're, and they're the Flatlanders, I, not even in the park yet. Yeah, I missed one guy, but apparently a dude during the, during the demo did a triple backflip. Oh, that is. On a skateboard on or a skateboard. on a BMX bike? Because they were also doing BMX, BMX demos. Yeah. Well, they had like a free uh, uh, free skate going on in the uh, half pipe. That's good. Cool. <laughs> but there was like a, a row of uh, porta potties right behind that. Uh oh. And I mean, there was enough space in between. There was like a you know a pathway. <laughs> I came out of one of them, and I heard somebody go, "Hey, look out!" And <laughs> I just look, and I see a board flying in the air. And I mean, coming near me, but not at me. You right. Know, like. It's like, whoa, yeah, 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 yeah. Send, send that to us. <laughs> Tony's got a picture of him with Milverine. Yeah, Kim related that uh, you almost got hatcheted by a yeah, skateboard. Yeah, it looked a little worse than it was. So I actually skated that half pipe. That's like from seven, That's from the 70s, 77, 78. Oh, right on. That was the very first demo pipe we had at, at Surf and Turf before it got covered up by... Gravel and Belly Button Strip Club the first time. <laughs> Damn, Belly Button. Then it was unearthed and became Surf and Turf. Then they covered it up again, and it became a DOT <coughs> staging yard for the freeway. Oh, I didn't know that. Redoing it, and then Greenfield got it for a buck after they were done. After the state was done using it, they sold it to Greenfield for a dollar. And wasn't uh, the mayor of Greenfield cool? I thought that guy yeah, was pretty Yeah, he was pretty right. sweet. So, good stuff happening. The turf is being rebuilt. Come one, come all. No boom boom hug jam this time. <laughs> Did I see Zito there? I don't know. I didn't. Hmm. I saw Doctor Sushi. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him, like Thank next, God, next to you. <laughs> That's like the second time that I've like seen the two of you like from me to you distance. Oh, shit. I think I know who it is. <laughs> I thought he was the lead singer of the Love Monkeys, and therefore no. Charlie's. No, 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 you're right. No, no, not, not, I can tell who you think you're thinking it is, and it's not. Mm. Oh, that was deep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know you think you know what you think you think, but. Yeah, yeah, it's the old Don Knotts <laughs> from Watlet and Cold Feet. He's here, and I know he's here, and he knows I know he's here. What he doesn't know is I know he knows I know he's here. But well, I know. Bon. Bada boom. Still not on Disney Plus. Did we talk about traffic calming coming to Prospect Avenue? I did not know that. Oh, traffic yeah, coming. Good. Traffic calming is coming to Prospect Avenue. Traffic if they do anything like they did uh, along uh, Cherry or Walnut. Yeah, that Walnut. Whoa. That is crazy and cool. And Except, good. yeah. Well, you can't drive fast through there or you're going to destroy a car. This is no, a good yeah, thing. Exactly. I, I agree completely. It was yeah. like trying to do the crossover through the neighborhood to get the best place. I mean, it made me slow down. <laughs> I'm just like, where do I... 
Where do I cut in here now? Oh, uh, there we go. Uh, just, let's let's nice hope that, that the, uh, the video game set doesn't figure out how to gamify yeah, right. gamify yeah, those they things. They are so snug to each other, though. I, that true. would be almost impossible. Yeah, between that and Lake Drive, and it's getting better. Yeah. Uh, and these are plans that were laid in place by Dave Schlebowski, actually. Yeah, yeah, boy. A dozen years ago that are finally getting realized because they just make sense in a place where... People drive like more. And cars have been, like, catered to for the last 40 years. It's now time for the rest of us to... I dig it. it. Was their time. Down here, it's our time. It's our time down here. Goonies reference. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's pop culture here on the old uh, Full Spectrum Cycling. That, by the way, everybody, that was J.K. making those comments. Hi. Hi. That's Tony with the new uh, the new ear pads on his yeah. on his headphones. And short hair. We forgot about that. And short hair. And um, look, just I look how those were shot. Look how worn out these were. Yeah. And they every I bet every time you went home, they had a little bit of uh, yeah. a little bit of these these little schnibbles upon Probably. you. I think they work great. Right. It, they were surprisingly easy to replace. That. Uh, they were made, it's not like you had to unglue them and goof around and mm -hmm. potentially screw something up. But I managed to do it, so it must be all right. Just because I'm ready to crack a beer, ding -a -ding -a -ding. we must be at the top of the hill. And because I keep complaining, as I am wont to do at a bar that has King Sue from Toppling Goliath and not Pseudo Sue. Oh, King Sue's harsh. It's just a big one. Oh, it's, it's a big high. one. You better be prepared. So what we have today is pseudo Sue because it was on sale at Otto's for three bucks off a twelve pack or something. Yeah. Toppling Goliath pseudo Sue. I'd get some except for I got a lot of company right now. <laughs> we had a fluffer space whistle from company. It's not a fluffer. You know what they got over at uh, Otto's company beer? You know what it's not? Dollar can. Yeah, I know. So pseudo Sue <laughs> is a it's a single hop ale, uh, pale ale. It's a citra hop. So it's well balanced. It's delicate in body. It's got a mild bitterness in the finish. Ferocious hop aromas of citrus and mango give refreshing taste. That is bright with just enough bite. And generally on tap at Oscars. It, it's they've had King Su. That's one of the places I've been grumbling about. Oh, I'm like, I'm, you guys get Sudo Su in beer. here. Nobody wants a nine percent or whatever they, that beer they is they for have, lunch. Um, Zombie ice. Zombie dust. Not, zombie? thank God, not zombie ice. Yeah. They have ninja dust, too, which is a one-barrel one. Oh. Or no. Oh, is that what Dave got? No, I don't know. He got something that was looked Yeah, there's uh, heavy. One of them is three Floyds, and one of them is one barrel. Right. Since we're on the uh, beer topic, we should at least sample the new sour at Amorphic. Well, sure, but I've already had a bunch of it. Oh, have you? You like, oh, you're a sour guy. I didn't know that. It's not. It, it's it's not sour. It's not quite Artemis Orange, but no, it's it's, it, it's sneaking up on it. But Artemis Orange wasn't a sour. No, it, it was, was a, a seltzer. It was a seltzer. And I've got and I got a little bit of a heads up from Alan that it's about three months out, and we may see Artemis Orange again. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that could be sold in cans and make a lot of money. I will probably buy a case of it at least to have it around. That's an incredible. That's an incredible seltzer. I just Kyle from Create Moto next door. He's always like. It's not Artemis Orange. He just keeps hacking on him. It's like, make it, make it, make, make it, it, make it. You guys got to make it. You got to make it. It's good. <laughs> it's really good. Molly loves it, too. Ah, that's good. Yeah, so does Wendy, because it's not really beer, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is, uh, you know, we had uh, Garrett's graduation party there. Tony showed up. Where the hell were you? <laughs> I was at, uh, in New Berlin at my aunt's 90th birthday party. Oh, oh nice. Bless her soul. I, uh, I showed up randomly. I took, my, I took uh, actually, I took Kim's Mossy <clears throat> on the bus for a ride. Oh, nice. Green line to Layton went right back to Conkle Park again, the scene of the crime. It's packed with a farmer's market on the way out there. Got off at Highway 100, zip, out to 130th. Party, 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 party. All okay. right. We'll and pick. I came back, and I got riding in. That we'll, was the good part. We'll pick that up right after this. I've got to push a button. Uh, for the 74th time, ladies and gentlemen, 74th caller, <laughs> welcome to the radio program. Caller, who do we have on the line? 74? 
I don't 74 re- I times. Remember 60, I don't remember 69 of them. <laughs> it says let you last called. I know you left a message last week when we had we're still teching up the new gear here, and I didn't have the phone hooked up, but it seems like it's working this week. That's good. By, hey, by Cracky, that good sounds like big good. sexy. Good to hear you guys, Ben. How you all doing? Doing well. Doing well. How's your uh, ride going? Well, I'll tell you what. Izzy is... Uh, Izzy's great, except for she's making this squawking sound every once in a while. And it's like... Ear, 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 ear. I'm like, what the hell is that? And I mean, I can't, I can't... I mean, because it doesn't make the sound when I'm not on the bike. And it doesn't, you know, and and uh, and and when I'm going, when I when I push her backwards, it sounds like I'm destroying the tricycle. I don't know what's going on, <laughs> but in, 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 in God knows I can't afford to figure it out at the moment. But uh, some somebody on the route should be take pity on you and uh, help you figure that out at a. Local bike shop yeah, there. Where are you right now? I'm in Bellefontaine, Ohio, and this is does not look like the place where I'm going to get any help <laughs> like that. Is that um, after Harry hey, Bellefontaine? I'll, I'll, <laughs> okay, so I've had uh, 121 miles of absolutely beautiful bike path, just no, no traffic, but boy, howdy. If you get off the bike path to go to Walmart or something like that, they make you pay for it. Um, but uh, but other than that, it's been 121 miles from Cincinnati to here. Just absolute bike path, no traffic, no nothing, no big rigs or dump fucking trucks whizzing by me at 90 miles per hour. It's been so wonderful, and. Uh, but I pull up at this town, and this is the last town of bike path. I got to get on the road. I got to get on the highway tomorrow. But it looks like there's a nice shoulder and all that. But um, I came across uh, when I was uh, biking through town a bunch of Trivial Pursuit cards. You know Trivial Pursuit, right? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. The the game. Is it the, yeah, the, absolutely. It's the, the, like, like three, three or four blocks is just littered with Trivial Pursuit cards. And I picked a couple of them up. And I promise you, I have not read them. I, ju- I, I just picked them up. And I want to see if we can do a couple of questions here. Well, sounds can good we? to me. Have at it. <clears throat> with, okay. the, with the combined I'm, brain uh, power who, here, who, this should be easy. Who do, I, 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 like I said, I have not pre-read these. I have no idea what, the, what, what it's going to say. But how many people we got? Uh, we got JK, we got Tony, we got Sven. Okay. So we got three. Uh, Sven, you go first. You're the boss, right? We uh, got well. uh, blue, <laughs> we got blue, blue, pink, yellow, black, green, and orange. Oh, I forgot. Are those, uh, <laughs> are those uh, yeah, related hey, hey, to who topics? Know, who knows? Who give knows? Me, give just, me blue. Just, that just, sounds just, like, just, give me blue. blue. That sounds like geography. Okay, what was the nickname of basketball legend Charles Cooper, 1939 New York Rims MVP? What was his nickname? Coop. <laughs> I do not know. That's a sports thing. Yeah, I don't know. Sports. If Corey Bauman were here, he might know. That. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, might. yeah. Might. I don't know. Well, I just go with Coop. The, I, got, the, I got nothing else. The, the, ans- the answer is Tarzan. <laughs> okay. Wow, Tarzan. When was Tarzan okay. written? Must have been somewhere right, around no that. No idea. Must have been right around that time. My own they said, oh wow, this for guy you. looks like Tarzan. Okay. So turn? Who's next? Tony. Yeah, who, I want orange. T- Tony wants orange. How many meters long is an Olympic race that measures thirty-two thousand eight hundred eight point five feet? 100 meters. No. 1,000 meters. It's 1,000, sorry. I'm going with 1,500. A meter is 3.28 feet. Yeah. 32,000. What's the your final answer, answer Tony? Is te- the answer is 10,000. 
Thank you. You said one thousand. Yeah. Then I corrected you. One hundred, a thousand, and ten thousand. No, I said ten thousand. All yeah. right. Do the math of three point. Very good. Two eight feet. We'll give that one to Tony. I'm an IT guy. All right, okay. Leah. Leah, we got pink, one more. Pink one on me. Okay. What Houston Oilers receiver called in a pro record one hundred and one passes in the nineteen sixty four AFL season? You weren't even alive in 64. I was. I was a year old. 64, Houston. Jesus. Good Lord. Frank Gifford. (laughs) Charlie Hennigan. Oh, that guy. kind of a flop. That was my second choice. Back uh, back in the day. I'll I'll take this uh, one. (laughs) What, What national basketball... What national basketball league club led by George Mikan beat the New York Rens 75-71 in the last World Pro Tournament in 1948. What the hell? I'm fucking it's... cheating. It's the Minneapolis Lakers. Oh, oh nice. Of course. Yeah, you know, I, anyway, that... <laughs> versus color versus color, they were all sports. Right. I'm not a sports guy too much. I could, right. if it were... A, B, C, D. I could do an educated guess on two that it's not for sure almost, but... I was, try, I was, I was I, going I mean, pink, entertainment. Yeah, I was going blue, geography. And, uh, and, so, and li- okay, so how many of these... Literally on purpose, on, on purpose, I picked up these cards. I did not even look at them. I'm like, I'm just going to pick them up and put them in. I'm not even looking at them. What, whatever, whatever it is. It says all-star sports is like the, the version of these cards. Oh, no, okay. So. Wow, well, that's, that's getting kind of uh, specific. So, how many do you think you yeah. found? Oh, I no, I only picked up like ten, and uh, oh, okay. and uh, I, I promise you, there was like a hundred and fifty of them. So you know, the last time I found stuff blowing down the road, it was uh, it was cash dollars, and I just kept yeah. hoping, you know. I, so the first one I picked up was a twenty. I'm like, oh, that's cool. I found a twenty on the ground. I'm pretty happy. I'm getting in my vehicle. And then I see more. I'm like, huh, I sure hope there's more of these blowing down the road. And it was like yeah. two more dollars. I'm like, well, that's okay. That's why I sent you that 20 bucks. I figured it wasn't really mine. I'd just give it to you. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what. There's been a couple of times when I was on the road and I, and, I, and I was riding down the road. And I said, that's a fucking 20. And I pulled over. It was outside of Nashville. Um, I think it was I think it was 2019. No, 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 it wasn't 2019. It was 20. 2021, I was heading in New Orleans, um, but I, I said, that's a 20. And then I looked around, I'm like, that's another one. There's another one. And I was like, I was like looking around this area of road and, and I found about $200 because I nice. found the envelope they were flying out of and it didn't have nothing on it. Didn't have no, no, no name or nothing on it. So I'm like, well, whatever, I guess it's mine. I got Heather's, yeah, I got did- Heather's brake fixed. Nice. I remember you had a story. I don't know. If, I think we got through it a while back, but the curse of the hundred dollar bill. Oh yeah, I had that. I had that um, a couple of weeks back. Someone gave me a hundred dollar bill. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. And he goes, No, no, yeah, yeah. Um, I hope it helps you on your journey. I'm like, Well, can you break it? <laughs> and he goes, and he, goes what? he kind of looks at me like, What do you mean? I'm like, Never mind. I went in the gas station that I was sitting outside of right away. I said, I said, break this. Will, will you break this hundred? Because I didn't want to have it on me for another fucking second. Because every time I get a hundred dollar mm-hmm. bill, something catastrophic goes wrong with the bike. <laughs> did and they it, take care true. of you? Or did they I, don't, like, I don't know. Oh. I, maybe, it, maybe it's superstition. Maybe, maybe I'm I'm stupid or or whatever. But. But every time I seem to, every time I get donated a hundred dollar bill, um, something goes to shit. So I try not <laughs> yeah, to do that's, that. That was pretty much the curse. So I was talking to our buddy Dave Schlebowski when we were on our Fat Tire tour this past Saturday, and he was relating some things about podcasts and how certain ones he's getting kind of sick of because I don't know they get all technical and stuff. The guys. 
No, he loves ours. Who wouldn't love ours? Once where people bitch more than they talk about the good stuff that's happening in cycling, I don't think we bitch that much, except if King sues at every bar instead of sue. Other than that. <laughs> but uh, he was relating that a certain gravel-oriented podcast, they have all these rules about gravel riding, and one of them is never, ever sit in front of a gas station on a gravel race. Huh? I don't know. It's just yeah, one I remember of those saying that. Yeah, I'm like, what the? No, that wasn't Dave. That was some, that was a different guy. Yeah, yeah, I know. But I, yeah, I, I, no, but yeah. when he was relaying, it, right I'm on, like, right on. The, but the but, huh? Okay. No, he's got a lot of rules about how you should ride gravel because he was one of the granddaddies of gravel riding, <laughs> except he really wasn't. Well, well, I promise you. Guess you, what? I, I, Since there's been bikes, there's been gravel riding. Right. It's just marketing, man. Come on. I have I have my superstitions on the road. I really do, and uh, one of them is the curse of the hundred dollar bill. It's like it's like break that hundred dollar bill as fast as possible because it, it for for I mean and for some reason um, another superstition of mine is that it is is that um, if the if the gas station has an outlet that you don't have to like physically break into. Like if, you, if, if it just has an outlet you can plug into, they're not going to let you hang around for very long. Okay. Yeah, I and remember that, that one. I don't story. know. If that, that's a bad example. I, I, I'm, I'm coming up blank on other examples of superstitions <laughs> I have, but but it, it's like um, uh, never it, 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 when. Anytime anybody offers you a bottle of water, you take it. Whether you get rid of it later or you, you just you just take it. Take the bottle. Yeah. If somebody offers you a bottle of water, take it. You don't Good refuse call. it because yeah. Then all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, where's that bottle of water? <laughs> <laughs> so, how far are you from Detroit right now? Um, about uh, I guess I'm I'm guessing about uh, one twenty. Okay, so is that um, your next destination? Yeah, yep, yep. Uh, my my people in Detroit are ready for me. Um, they're uh, they're they're doing a thing, so I don't know exactly how long I'm going to be there for, but that that's the thing. Um, if uh, if I got to get moving from Detroit earlier than I thought, I'm not, probably not going to be there for 24, but I'm going to be there. Um, right. Right. being Milwaukee, I'm gonna I'm I'm taking the boat. There, I mean, I'll I will take the boat. Whether if I have to rob somebody, I'll take the fucking boat <laughs> rather than go to Chicago. Um, well, we 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 but, dropped um, the ball this year on getting the the passes. I I think though we're donate we I donated twenty five bikes to Dream Bikes. I'm pretty sure I could maybe see what kind of what kind of. Uh, relationship they have with that Lake Express because I could use a discounted ticket and go over there. That's you know, it was ninety degrees here today. It, have you been riding through the heat over there? Oh yeah. Um I, w my my trick is uh get going at uh five thirty in the morning and be done by noon. Yeah, good call. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Be be done by noon. Sure. No matter how far I get by noon, I'm done because you don't want to be on the road. Right. Wait. So what wait, I noticed today is, well, just 15 miles west of where we are, it was 90. And when I got down to the lakefront right by Bradford Beach, okay. 70. Yep. And there's a uh -huh. there's a weather buoy about a there's a weather buoy about a mile offshore, and it was 64 degrees at the weather buoy. Out on the middle of the lake. Well, not the middle, but a mile offshore on the lake. Surrounded by, by water. Yeah, maybe cooler yep. by the lake. Always cooler by the lake. Take it. All right, no, Big Sexy, um, you want to leave us with anything? We're going to get rolling here pretty quick, but you got anything more for well, us? Yeah, let, yeah let, let's keep in contact about uh, about about uh, meeting in Michigan. Or or at least, hey, if, if, if y'all uh, meet me when I get off the boat, that'd be, a, that'd be wonderful, too. I can Absolutely. I can try to I, I we can try to schedule it so I can I can be where you, if you when you have time to do that kind of thing that'd be wonderful um especially cuz I'm wearing my River West shirt right now I was <laughs> pushing you mm. ah, nice <laughs> no you he, he, he does not know where we are in River West right now <laughs> But yeah, uh, just gonna, it's your... gonna be a couple of weeks at least. But um, you know, whatever. I'm I'm uh, I'm I'm heading that way. Okay. 
Yeah, we just I just ran into your buddy Steve Booth, who was the guy that came up with that shirt. So he's got some new oh, yeah, stuff yeah. probably coming up pretty soon. Hopefully we'll run into him when you're in town. Hey, um, if you see him again, tell him I wear it with pride. <laughs> awesome. And, and, All right. And, pe and people, pe a couple of people have, uh, you know, uh, my friend Nisha uh, and her and her husband Leaf, they're they're like family to me. They uh, they they lived in, lived in River West for a minute, and they're like, like we used to live right there, and they poked me in the stomach. I'm like ah, <laughs> <laughs> don't poke me there. All right, we'll talk to you soon, man. Thanks for calling in. Take it easy. All right, no problem. Hey, uh, um, as always, love you, and I'll see you soon. And don't forget to uh, lay us your uh, Venmo again, just so people can yeah, donate Jason to the cause. Jason Dash Becker Dash sixty. It's the Venmo, right? Yep, Jason Dash Becker Dash sixty. Copy that. All right, man. Thank you very much for I calling. Really we'll talk to you soon. guys. Y'all, y'all have a good time. Peace. Peace. Bye, Big Sexy. Peace. And Big Sexy, everybody. Hey, you know what I think? I don't know. We'll have to see how it sounds on the recording, but I think the Bluetooth into the new thing better. sounds better than the it was very clear. wired into the old thing. I thought it sounded pretty decent. It didn't sound like there was a lag. Not as much, right? And right. that's weird because it, there's, there's always latency in in wireless. Jump. You can hear somebody going like. Wait, wait, why wait, do you think wait. he chose sixty as the last fifty nine prior? Was he born in sixty? He can't I, be born in sixty. No, he's not that old. Makes him older than you. He's not that old. He's like forty five or six or something. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. We didn't get through this last week, so I'm just going to mention it so I can scratch it off the list and top. Stop, stop with the stop. always moving it. There's a story. It was on Bike Rumors, so you can read it there. Sub 19 pound Surly oh God, preamble, cool. preamble road bike. I'm like, who in their right mind would do that? A Surly employee. Yeah, exactly. Guess who did it, right? A Surly employee. Yeah, That's the only person really can. that would. Why would you do that if you were not a Surly employee? It is a really cool bike, though. And sub 19 pound bike that probably has a six pound frame is pretty impressive. Right. And so, expensive, I imagine. Right on. Um, we talked a few weeks back about the AAA thing, where you can call them if you're a AAA mm -hmm. member mm -hmm. and, and you have a bike thing. So here's the actual clarification. If you're classic, which is your basic, whatever it is, 70, 60 bucks a year or something. I don't know the numbers. It's not a lot. Roadside transportation with a five within a five-mile radius of the bicycle breakdown. If you're plus, which is not a lot more, maybe 30 bucks, Get roadside transports within a hundred mile radius. Holy crap! And Premier get one transport up to two hundred miles, and remaining transports are up to hundred miles. So if you're like traveling across the country, it's a deal. Why wouldn't you get AAA? Yeah. And like you know, yeah. they won't do stuff. They will not air up your tire. They're not basically. They're only equipped to transport you, right. not do any kind of fixing. I'm oh. tired. But Can I'm you trying please to transport me 100 miles to a hotel. If I live, yeah. <laughs> I'd, I'd like to figure out a way to uh, participate in this and, and help people. But I don't know. I guess in a city, you're not as prone to that. But uh, you know, ride premier, 100 miles. I don't get think a ride for 100 miles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get a, just, yeah, this, yeah, just like like the totally tow like, like the tow truck driver is, that's going to transport you likely, or somebody that's part of their normal auto thing isn't going to know that your bottom bracket isn't mashed. mashed. Yeah. Oh yeah, my bottom bracket's not or working. Do they put it on I the need, hook so I need you can a see your bike hanging as you drive. <laughs> I don't know. I'm almost tempted just to try it out. Yeah, it's, just it, leap but it's such a cool across thing. the country. Leap right, rock. totally. Yeah. Today yeah. I put 50 miles on. I'm going to the uh, Ritz Carlton today. Thank Could you. Please give me your 100 mile <laughs> ride. I don't know what's coming up next week. I tried to get Andrew Zahn from the River West 24 today, but he's doing a checkpoint three signature mm -hmm. gathering so that they can try and get. Oh yeah, they're, they're oh. worried about that. Well, I know that. I mean, checkpoint three is gentrified like now tomorrow. Well, the problem with it is that they're doing the construction again on yeah. the bridge the above. Yeah. So, but they've had it fenced off, and those people suck over there so bad they're getting grumpy about it. That said, the people that cause trouble down there suck too. So stop sucking, both of you, yeah. because it's <laughs> such a cool place. And there we go. That's how we end the show. Except for you guys, got anything? Yeah. Well. Yeah, JK's got yeah, yeah. I got one thing too. The All right, well, go. The toad go. races started up. 
Oh, they started up. Started up. Last week. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah. Soon to be coming. But they close up this week. To a Shorewood right. and or Downer near you. I'm yes, the Bayview, Shorewood, I'm and some, then uh, the Downer, and then the Tosa. So one of those. I Copy. But not the Shorewood. It's just the closest, but not the... the, the I think they have downer. to be the Downer. I'm doing the Downer. And Tosa have, is always uh, fun to watch. I have people trying to give me suggestions for where Daikaiju should be. Up Downer. One, one of them was Checkpoint 3, and I said, absolutely not. Nope. The jerks are all the places I don't want them playing. Although the the one that River West RB sounds really good, it'd have to be in the daytime on Saturday. It can't Why? be. It can't be at one a.m. You'll, oh, no. I don't think anyone's going to care. The cops no. are not going to care. They are. You think so? Try and get a permit for it and see how it works. I get into a permit. Your your best bet is to Did do they it have somewhere inside. For future plans? I don't think so. Like who already has said they'll do it there. I know. I know. All right, and but if you're not going to do it there, let him know so he doesn't hold that date. Oh. As, well, as, as, I appro- as I approach, as, as people are lo- lobbying, and I offer up the jerk circle as an invitation. I don't know where it is. We were at we it. We were at it! It was the naming. For, my clever naming. Yes, the jerk circle is where we saw Corey on Friday. That would also be fantastic. Ta-da! That would actually... Ta-da! You know, and there's no neighbors that could complain about that. Exactly. It's a county park that closes at 10 o'clock. So you, you just got to look at the logistics of this stuff. They did face painting at 1 o'clock. In the yeah, but that's quiet. Ago. Nobody said anything. When it's going to be a raucous thing that's going They're for an hour. They're going to rip for however long An hour, rip. maybe. If All right. That. Make sure that you have, like, four generators. We'll, we'll have designated people to grab stuff and run. Rent yeah. generators so that they have power. That's about it. You know, I'm just saying, you're looking at a lot che- of logistics. Cheapest vent is uh, it's definitely up to her. And you can charge. And buy you can charge for people to get in and recoup some of your fat That's stacks true. of cash you're spending. So Stephen said you could, you know, just see what they say. But I, I think just because of all the logistics of doing it outside and all the potential pitfalls. Plus, what if it's raining? Remember how it rained last year? <laughs> it rained hard oh, last rain. year. That was not raining. All right. Well, we'll get it figured out because they are coming. Yeah. And it will happen somewhere. Cool. Uh, in the Right. Thanks. Hi. Hi. Hi.